Chapter 2 MS Word Mail Merge About the Chapter Mail Merge Performing a mail merge involves three basic steps. Advantages and Disadvantages of Mail Merge Mail Merge Mail Merge is a feature within most data processing applications that enables users to send a similar letter or document to multiple recipients. It enables connecting a single form template with a data source that contains information about the recipient's name, address and other predefined and supported data. Performing a mail merge involves three basic steps. Step 1. Creating the main document. In the first step, one needs to prepare a standardized text that will be printed on all merged documents. It contains a merge field. This is a placeholder which instructs where and what will be inserted from the data source. Step 2. Creating data source. Data sources consist of mailing list such as name, address, contact number, email ID, etc. The data is organized in tabular form along with the filed names. It is associated with main document so that field names of it can be used in the main document and it becomes easy to merge addresses along with the main document. Step 3. Merging Merging the data source with the main document. To use mail merge, first open an existing Word document or create a new one. Second, from the mailing tab, Click the Start Mail Merge command and select Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard from the drop down menu. The Mail Merge pane appears and will guide you through the six main steps to complete a merge. Let us demonstrate with an example that how to create a form letter and merge the letter with a recipient list. Step 1. Choose the type of document you want to create. For example, we'll select letters. Then click Next, Starting Document to move to Step 2. Step 2. Select Use the current document. Then click Next, Select Recipients to move to Step 3. Step 3. Now you will need an address list so Word can automatically place each address into the document. The list can be in an existing file such as an Excel workbook or you can type a new address list from within the mail merge wizard. A. From the mail merge task pane, select use an existing list, then click browse to select a file. B. Locate your file and click open. C. If the address list is in an Excel workbook, select the worksheet that contains the list and click OK. D. In the mail merge recipients dialog box, you can check or uncheck each box to control which recipients are included in the merge. By default, all recipients should be selected. When you are done, click OK. E. From the mail merge task pane, click Next. Write your letter to move to step 4. Quick fact, if you don't have an existing address list, you can click the Type a new list button and click Create. You can then type your address list. Step 4. Now you are ready to write your letter. When it's printed, each copy of the letter will basically be the same. Only the recipient data such as the name and address will be different.
To insert recipient data, A. Place the insertion point in the document where you want the information to appear. B. Choose one of the four placeholder options. Address block, greeting line, electronic postage or more items. C. Depending on your selection, a dialog box may appear with various options. Select the desired options and click OK. D. A placeholder will appear in your document. For example, address block. E. Repeat these steps each time you need to enter information from your data record. In given example, we will add a greeting line. F. When you are done, click Next. Preview your letters to move to step 5. Quick fact, for some letters, you will only need to add an address block and greeting line. Sometimes, however, you may want to place recipient data within the body of the letter to personalize it even further. Step 5. A. Preview the letters to make sure the information from the recipient list appears correctly in the letter. You can use the left and right scroll arrows to view each document. B. Click Next. Complete the merge to move to step 6. Step 6. A. Click print to print the letters. B. A dialog box will appear. Click all, then click OK. C. The print dialog box will appear. Adjust the print settings if needed, then click OK. The letters will be Advantages and Disadvantages of Mail Merge Advantages of Mail Merge Easy to store the information Only one letter needed to be created Time saving as it does lots of letters It is quick and easy to do Disadvantages of Mail Merge Mail Merge is used for fraudulent purposes and for junk mail the letter sounds generic to the customer. If you edit the database, it can cause it to fail. It's easy to make mistakes. Information in the database needs to be kept up to date. Let's recall, Mail Merge is a useful tool that allows you to produce multiple letters, envelopes, name tags, and more using information stored in a list, database or spreadsheet. Performing a mail merge involves three basic steps. One needs to prepare a standardized text that will be printed on all merged documents. Second, create data sources consisting of mail list such as name, address, contact number, email ID, etc. And lastly, merging the data source with the main document.